Welcome to the food cast. I'm here with Toby. Today on the podcast, we are talking about fast food and casual food being banned in East Chester, New York. On April 1st, 2013, fast food was banned in East Chester by the town supervisor, Anthony Colavita. Before we provide our opinion on the topic, we will go over the whole thing. Here are some facts about the topic. Fast food would heavily boost the economy of East Chester, as well as bringing in people from other places. Fast casual restaurants locally source ingredients, which benefits local sellers and gives people fresh food. Fast food places are also beginning to integrate lots of healthy options. Fast food places are very affordable too, and are great for people in a rush. We created a survey for people living in or near East Chester, New York of all ages. Our results proved many things. Many people agreed that the town is infringing on our rights to what we eat. We conducted a survey in which 75% of people think that the ban was unfair. 90% of people also said that they'd eat fast food. Another 75% of people think fast food should be in East Chester. From this survey, we can conclude that the people of East Chester want fast food in the town. According to our survey, people want all sorts of fast food, including McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, Five Guys, KFC, Chipotle, Shake Shack, Wendy's, and more. This shows that people want fast food and variety. Some fast food restaurants also have healthier options, such as Chipotle. For example, Chipotle has fresh ingredients that are locally sourced. Panera also has locally sourced ingredients and has many healthy menu items. McDonald's and others are following by adding menu items that are healthier, such as salads and healthier sandwiches. The average McDonald's brings in around 362500 a year, and that's just one of them. As shown by this image, the fast food industry is rapidly growing, with it going up by $9.4 billion a year. According to this image, the fast food industry has grown by $9.4 billion in that one year. And according to this image, the fast food industry will keep growing many years from now. If you look at this image, you'll see that fast food places are already integrating more healthy options into their menus. This is an average Chipotle. All these ingredients are fresh and come from local sellers. I know Chipotle and Scarsdale, and they bring in tons of business. It's time for our opinion on the subject. We think fast food is great for the economy and the people. Not everyone has time to wait in a long line at a deli, or 20 minutes to an hour for food at a restaurant. And not everybody wants a full meal that could eventually go to waste. Many people like us believe that fast food is beneficial to everyone, and that is a big mistake to not have it in our town. As you can see from this graph from our survey, 75% of people who took the survey thought it was unfair for Anthony Colvia to ban fast food, while 10% of the people who took the survey didn't know, and only 15% of the people thought it was fair for Anthony Colvia to ban fast food. Next up, we have a TikTok showing many healthy fast food options from fast and casual restaurants.